So I'm a cardiac uh, surgeon and I've been involved in essentially everything in cardiac and general thoracic surgery during my career. The newborn child is actually pretty resistant in, in a pretty strong figure uh, who can tolerate much more than you think and, and they are very adaptable and, and doing complex repair on the neonates works very well and for example transposition of the great arteries we now switch the arteries back uh, to their normal positions and move the coronaries and, and, uh, and the many complex things we, we repair uh, in that period. And that kind of surgery I really developed in, in Denmark from scratch. The advantage that we have is the enormous experience. So of course, I have a different perception of risk and I, I have say, much more personal experience to build my opinion on where the risk with this particular case is and, and what I think I can do and what I think needs to be done. As the surgeon, you are so say, the final person conveying that sense of trust. You have to, they have to trust you, but they also have to sense that you trust the people you work with. They have to have that sense of unity when they come into the operating room for the hovel. You are really the advocate. You are, so say, speaking for them. And, and they have to leave you with the same trust as you leave the flying to a pilot. It's very heavy patient population to take care of. But on the other hand, it's very rewarding. It's, of course, very rewarding to take care of people who's been told that there isn't more we can do, and then they come here and we operate on them successfully the next day and they go home in a week. When you get cases like that, you know, that patient don't, don't believe their eyes and ears that this can be done when they have heard that it can't be done. The surgeon's part is the easy one. And, the patient is, is the one who's taking all the pain and the hardship and who's going to work himself back to uh, being rehabilitated and becoming functional again.